that we're going to assemble today is this THP Terrell Home Products, model 327-3098, Aiden Futon. Here's over here on the B side. We've got bracket with the R on it, the R bracket. We'll mount that now. And again, there are, here's the it's a nut bolt combination. wrench works on here. I have a metric 4 millimeter Allen I'm working on the other side. Snug them up good. Okay now we're over on the other arm, arm A, and we're going to attach the bracket. And this bracket has an L on it. See the L mark on there. And we're going to use three uh, Two bolt number threes and nut number fives on this. Bolt it all together. Snug it all up nice and tight. Next we're going to attach part D to part H. These are like the little sheet. You go inside of there. Attach, use bolt four to attach D to H. Okay, now we've got part G, which we're going to attach to part H here. This is a long bar that'll slide all over. Top, there's a couple of holes. We're going to put a couple of uh, appear to be sheet metal screws on there. Number seven. These are Phillips heads. I'm going to go ahead and do this four times. Make the full length of these bars. Okay, there's. G, H, and uh, D together. Okay, now part eight, these little cushions. I'm gonna go here, here, on part H, on both of them. So put four of them on right now. There it is. So now we're gonna take bolt one, nut six, and attach um, these long rails to the end pieces. Okay, so the top one of these is threaded. So just going to run this through and turn it on. Just loosely now. And the bottom one is the one that has a nut in it. So there's only four nuts, even though there's eight bolts. So now we'll just put the other end in. Okay, these four corners are all in. Again, just snug them all up. Okay, there's four of these left. And they're going to go down in the corners here. Okay, here's a seat with all the parts and pieces laid out. There's piece O there. And we have the joiners E that are going to join us over to P over here. And we have our, our crossbars Q. Support bars. There's two of those. It's the other one over there. Okay, we're going to slide these together now. First, slide it into one and first. And what I would do is start a screw here, a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, tighten these all down, nice and tight. You don't have to work this fast, though. So. <laughs> when you mount part Q, the larger curved end is going to go toward the rounded bar, and it's going to go underneath, and the smaller one is going to go on top of the straight edge here. So you put it underneath, 
just like so. And repeat on the other Q bar. Okay, tighten them all up. Okay, we're wrapping up the seat. Now we'll move and just do exact, pretty much exactly the same thing on the back, with one little exception. Close up of Q and one end and on the other. And we've got the, the wires, the welded wires on top. Okay, all that remains then are these two handles. And there's a couple of holes drilled on the bottom here. Let's just put these on with sheet metal screws, with the same sheet metal screws we've been using. Okay, there it is. Now the one item that's different on the uh, on the back, back of the seat, is the, uh, the nut that goes in here, the screw and nut combination, and that's just uh, the one they call JCN. Okay, here's the only exception between the back in the seat, this JCN nut and bolt that are used. So on this end, you can see the threaded portion goes through from the bottom, the other one from the top. So I've got the seat frame set down on the uh, bed. Uh, B is over to our right, get it oriented right. Make sure you have your mesh here up and put your remaining bolts and the nut. Okay, now we've got the back frame set into position. Let's drop our bolts in there. And both ends and hand tighten the nuts. We got them all in there. Now we'll hand tighten them and then give them a final tightening. So any bolts that you still haven't tightened, nuts and bolts, now would be a good time to tighten them all up. So three part T's remain. And these little hooks have a hole right here. Get it kind of pulled together right in the very middle where the two join together. That's where one goes. And then just one, um, one piece in from the bar. on each side of it. There's one. Again, one bar in. There it is. Okay, so there it is. Actually a very nice uh, mattress on here. Uh, and rather comfortable to sleep on. Okay, let's put this into the bed shape. Alright, I'm here to tell you this thing's comfortable. Now this is an 8 inch independent coil mattress, a better one, but it makes for a heck of a nice guest bed. Thanks for watching.